Moving on. Finally tonight, a quick word about museums. Think of them as history's Instagram, because if this was posted in 2020, it wouldn't be called luncheon at the boating party, it'd be called brunch time with my best bays, hashtag suns out, guns out, hashtag oil on canvas. Like most industries, museums have taken a huge hit during the pandemic, and some have had to get imaginative about ways to raise revenue and attention, from live streaming galas, to offering free downloads of artwork to players of Animal Crossing, to this. The penguins from the zoo got out and waddled around enjoying a morning of fine art and culture at the Nelson Atkins Museum in Kansas City. The animals taken a field trip. Look at that awesome shot to the museum while it's closed to the public. And apparently they had some very strong opinions. They seem definitely to react much better to Caravaggio than to Monet. Well, of course they did. Penguins are aquatic, flightless birds, not complete philistines. Even they can appreciate that Caravaggio's use of light remains unparalleled to this day. The man practically invented chiaroscuro, whereas Monet is really, at this point, more of a pop culture figure. I mean, what did he really do other than vomit pastels and give unimaginative dum-dums something pretty to hang in their powder rooms? Listen, I don't think that. Penguins do. But the truth is, for many beloved institutions, it's just not going to be enough. Most museums get 50% of their operating budgets from earned sources, so from ticket sales, special programming, and, and purchases of tickets to those things. According to a study conducted by the American Alliance of Museums, one third of museums may permanently close in the next year. That's terrible. Museums are supposed to be lasting monuments to scientific, cultural, and artistic interest, not be as disposable as the fourth H&M in Times Square. Things are so bad, the Association of Art Museum Directors recently relaxed their guidelines, allowing museums to sell off pieces of art in order to help make ends meet. The Brooklyn Museum has already started doing that, and it's not just major institutions. There are tiny museums across this country that are really struggling. And this is where we may actually be able to help, because we've dabbled a bit in the art market this year and have acquired a small but high quality collection of modern masterpieces. You may remember Stay Up Late by Brian Swords of York. It's a meditative piece depicting two rats in a post-coital embrace. In terms of importance, it's very much the Mona Lisa of our collection and Swords the Da Vinci. But that's not all. We also acquired Tides by Judith Cudlow, a multichromatic installment of her career-long exploration of a world without her husband Larry. And we actually have a third piece that we haven't had a chance to show you yet. And before I do, a little background. You may remember back, say, 400 years ago or so, we did a segment on Wendy Williams's magnificent lockdown version of her talk show, where we complimented her eating many weird foodstuffs during her broadcast. We even found and sent her a sweatsuit that she was looking for, and shortly after, we received a note from her show saying they'd, and I quote, like to gift John with a very elegant painting of Wendy eating a lamb chop. And guess what? We received it. And if this isn't a very elegant painting of Wendy eating a lamb chop, I simply don't know what is. Look, in moments of suffering, humanity has, time and again, found solace in the arts. So tonight, I'm proud to announce that this collection is available to go on tour. That is right, we're inviting any US museum, as long as they can safely show them, to apply to host these masterpieces. We will send them to you, along with a $10,000 donation, plus another $10,000 donation to a food bank in your area. We will be picking five museums to get them for two weeks apiece. And if you want to take part, you can email john at johnoliverhasyourraterotica.com by November 1st. And if selected soon, you too will be able to feast your eyes upon true art like Wendy is feasting upon that lamb chop. You will not regret it. I promise. That's our show. Thank you so much for watching. We're off next week. We'll see you on October 18th. Good night.